Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy, Big Jerry, aka Big Samson. Boo! Doing some fasted cardio in the morning. Figure I'd start doing a little segment where I just do my little ranting and raving while I'm doing some cardio. But, so anyway, this morning, I wanted to speak on this whole Amber Geiger thing, this bullshit. So, as you guys probably already know, I mean, it's all over social media. Amber Geiger was sentenced to 10 years for the murder of Botham. Uh, Botham John, I think his name is. Not sure. Pretty sure that's his name. But anyway, um, yeah. So this white cop, gotta say white because it's the United States and everything's white and black and brown and yellow and red in the United States. She busts into his house, his house, his apartment, and shot him dead. She said that she thought it was hers. Guess how many times I've walked into other people's apartments thinking it was my apartment in my whole life. I've always lived in apartments for years and years. Guess how many times I've walked into someone else's apartment saying, oops, this is my apartment. Zero times. Zero I'm guessing most of you have never done that either. So that little excuse is some big time bullshit. Even drunk, I mean drunk out of my mind, I've never done that. Even high out of my mind, I've never done that. But she did that, and she killed the man. She didn't just walk in and say, oh, my bad, this is not my place, I'm so sorry, and turn around and walked out. No, she walked in, pulled her gun out, and shot homeboy. So she got convicted guilty. I thought that wasn't gonna happen, but thank God it did. But then the judge, right, sentenced her to 10 years. Slap on the wrist. She might do five years and then get to, you know, walk out of there. Michael Vick, dog, he he was in the dog fighting. He got three years for that. And you're going to give somebody who murdered another person 10 years? (laughs) But that's because, you know, that's the, the, uh, the, the punishment for crimes is different from black brown and white people in the United States and so many people would rather be like oh it ain't different yeah it's fucking different that's some bullshit and then now there's uh, I don't know if you guys watched after the sentencing the brother of Botham was up in the you know where you talk and he says to the judge I don't know if this is possible but can I give her a hug like what the fuck? This little motherfucker wants to go down and make a scene and hug this bitch that just shot her bro- uh, his brother? And then after that, the cop hugged her. Or, or not the cop. Yeah, well, the cop, the cop next to her, the black cop, there's photos where she's fixing her hair and all that other stuff. Like, that is ridiculous. You know, I don't really have a problem with that too much because they're both cops, you know, birds of a feather flock together type of thing. But then the judge hugged Amber Geiger after the trial too. Like, I want to know how many times this judge hugged young black men who were uh, uh, put away in her uh, her courtroom. Bet you she never done it. That's that slave mentality right there. They see a white woman with blonde hair, 
crying because she killed a black man and they feel bad for her. Oh my God. Oh my God. She killed, she killed, she killed a, a black man. So I feel really bad for her. She's gonna go to jail. Oh, don't, don't sit in jail for too long. You fucking kidding me? I was just shocked when I saw that. I was shocked. I was pissed. I was heartbroken. I'm like, damn. This, 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 you know what? It's, 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 it's so sad because, you know, people always want to blame white people for all this racism. But you know what? There's a lot of, a lot of black people who are, they like this subservient role and they accept it. They accept being subservient. Like, fuck that shit. I ain't subservient to no one. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how much money you have. You better fucking respect my shit or I'm going to put my foot up your ass. And if you kill my family, I'm killing you. Fuck that. I ain't hugging you. I ain't praying for your soul. I'm pissing on your grave. I'm pissing on your fucking grave. This motherfucker. Oh, my God. No self-respect. Talking about... I hope she finds Jesus in prison. Guess what? Jesus ain't in prison. Saying though, this one. Anyway, I'm ranting because I have to rant. And I'm doing cardio, so I'm going to just keep on motherfucking ranting. Oh damn. Well, it's your boy, Big Jerry, aka Big Samson. I'll be coming to you with more rants, more news, more fitness tips, more music. Make sure you check out my music. Listen to it on Spotify. I got my first check from Spotify. 150 bucks. It's a small check, but you know. It starts off small and then it gets bigger, you know, so, but yeah, fuck that, fuck that bullshit, fuck that bullshit, you know, have some damn self-respect, don't be hugging the person that killed your family, people, you know, I know a lot of people like to think, oh, I'm a Christian, I have to do that, no, you don't have to do that. That is, that is, you could be a Christian. You, you're not, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. But I ain't hugging the person that killed my family. I give a fuck. Some slave mentality. Wake the fuck up. <laughs>